Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to the Terror in the Isles Challenge. This is a segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man. We're going to examine films from Terror in the Isles. Not just the theatrical cut, but the TV cut as well. Today we're going to be talking about Strangers on a Train. Strangers on a Train is a 1951 film, which runs approximately 101 minutes and is directed by the late, great Alfred Hitchcock. And he passed away on April 24th, 1980, at the age of 80. He was responsible for Topaz, Psycho, and Marnie. Now this stars Farley Granger as Guy Haynes. He passed away on March 27th, 2011, at the age of 85. He was in Rope, They Live by Night, and The Prowler. Robert Walker as Bruno Anthony. He passed away on August 28th, 1951, at the age of 32. He was in The Clock, Batan, and My Son John. And Ruth Roman as Anne Morin. She passed away on September 9th, 1999, at the age of 76. She was in Tomorrow is Another Day. Champion, and Beyond the Forest. Now, the budget on this film was $1.2 million, and I didn't get a gross on that. They had a number written down, but I don't think it was right. So, all right. Uh, this is a masterpiece. And to be honest, I probably should have used Dial M for Murder as my recommendation, because it fits us a little bit better. Okay, you have... A tennis player named Guy and a somewhat well-off guy named Bruno who meet together on a train. Well, Bruno knows a lot about Guy, knows a lot about tennis, and it seems like tennis is a reoccurring theme in Alfred Hitchcock films because you have um, Dial M for Murder and all. So... When they meet, they talk about their life, and they start talking about what ifs. Like, if you could get rid of your wife, how would you do it? If you could get, if I could get rid of my mother, this is, or my father, this is how I would do it. So they talk about it, but Bruno, because he's psychotic, thinks that they made a pact that Bruno would get rid of Guy's wife, and Guy would get rid of Bruno's father, because they have a problem with each other. And that's about as far as I'm going to go with the, the plot itself. Um, this movie is, is fantastic and has some of the best atmosphere ever because there's a carnival there. And I'm not going to say what happens at the carnival. If you've seen Terror in the Isles, that part is actually on Terror in the Isles. But just how they try to get around and how psychotic Bruno is. It's it's one thing to talk about something, but then when you talk when you actually do something, it's a completely different story. And I think that's what's missing in the translation between Guy and Bruno. I'm gonna get to my um relatable recommendation, and that is going to be Torn Curtain. Like I said, I wanted to pick another Hitchcock film, and I should have picked Doll M for Murder, because that kind of fits this one the best, but for some reason it just escaped me. But I am going to pick uh, Torn Curtain. Paul Newman is awesome, and this, of course, has Julie Andrews as well. And it's a fantastic film, a masterpiece, like all of Hitchcock's films. And as I said when we watched um, Frenzy, I feel like Psycho, The Birds... And Joe had thrown in Vertigo, even though I don't think that's one that gets talked about a whole lot. I think that his movies have kind of gone by the wayside, and that's a shame because they're fantastic pieces of art. And very, very suspenseful, hence he's called the Master of Suspense. Definitely check out Torn Curtain. It's amazing. Check out Strangers on a Train. It's, it's just awesome. And don't forget to check out Joe's review and see what he picked as a recommendation. 
And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.